you guys, believe it or not, these two humongous motorhomes behind me are the most compact and affordable Class A RVs from Newmar. Why have two of them? Well, I have a 2020 model powered by a V10 gas engine, and I also have a 2021 model powered by a Godzilla V8. But both of them have very cool features at relatively affordable prices. So let's go inside and find out what's what. Both of these are based on models, but they're not identical. This 2020 V10 model is a 3414, which means it's a little bit longer than the other one I'm gonna show you in a second. And they have slightly different layouts and features. Well, let's go check it out. As you can see, when you uh, actually pull all the slide outs all the way out, this becomes like a giant home, which it is. And right here, the layout is such, there's an entertainment center right here with a televator. Couch, pull out couch, can be turned into a bed. A little dinette, pretty large kitchen, then bathroom, and finally the bedroom in the back. Come along. The bedroom has a lot of light. Bathroom is in the middle, which is pretty large. I like this type of layout. And once the rear slide out is deployed, there's a ton of space right here in the bedroom and I have my own windows. I have my own light controls and I have another TV in here. So this RV has four televisions. There's another one outdoors. All right guys, I have to address one thing um, before we get too much further. I, I said these were affordably priced and everything is relative, right? I mean, we have pickup trucks like the new TRX that start at about 70 grand, go to 100. We have electric trucks that are gonna be over 100,000. This 3414 is on sale here at the dealership at uh, just around 175,000. Of course, depends on the deals that they have currently going on. Yes, that's a lot of money, but when you consider large motorhomes like this, the Class Ace, you can get some with nicer materials, more features for 200, 300, then you have the diesel pushers, 400, half a million, and of course the Prevost Emerald buses that I've also done videos on at over two million bucks. So when you're looking at a 175, it's a little bit more affordable in this segment. This episode would not be possible without our friends at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Use the link in the description below. They have these RVs and motorhomes for sale right there. All right, so right now I'm in the V10 powered Baystar. It's funny to think that this is their smallest and the most affordable and the most, uh, I guess, compact motorhome that Newmar actually builds. But still, it's no joke. Ooh, I can feel a little bit of emotion of the big RV. So I put my foot down, but acceleration is kind of gentle. Still, a lot of torque and a lot of power in this V10, about 460 pound-feet of torque. This puppy, of course, comes with a power shade for the windshield, and you can basically black out all of the windows. But I wanted to show you the driver's cabin. If you look at the steering wheel, what does this remind you of? Yes, uh, this looks like an older Ford Super Duty, although this diameter of the steering wheel is way larger. And this is powered by a V10 gas engine that's been around for 20 years and offers about 320 horsepower. And when you arrive at your destination, you can also unfold the center console right here. One, two, come on magic. Aha ha, look at this. Now I don't have to even have to get up, I can eat right here. And if you're a passenger, you also have your own table. 
So when you're going down the road, you can put maybe a little laptop here, do some work, or read the book, whatever. Of course, you have all the amenities here. You have your radio, stereo, navigation. You have your camera. And in this one, uh, when you put it in reverse, it also gives you distance. Of course, motorhomes are all about safety. And this 3414 model has an escape door right here in the rear section. It's in this restroom area. You just unlock it, pull the latch. Hello, howdy. You have all of your other uh, equipment down below, pretty large storage uh, bins. And it also has some pass-through storage in the back. Both of these are equipped with a hitch and a seven pin connector for towing, but a maximum of 5,000 pounds. So if you want to tow more than five grand, you may have to look at the larger Newmar motorhome. Ah, now this is the new 2021 chassis and motorhome, still based R, and this is the 3014, so it's a little bit shorter, but it's a lot more open. You can see throughout the entire thing, slightly different layout. There is a booth dinette right here. It can convert into a small, small bed. Uh, once again, a couch, convertible couch. Slides, where the other one had three slides, this has two. But on this side, the driver's side, it's the entire section. Everything slides together, which is really quite cool. There's a big TV here and one other one in the bedroom. This model may have a little bit less counter space. Um, it does have an oven and also has this three burner stove. So once again, there's a lot of options. And check this out, still a large fridge. Both of these have pretty large fridges. These are brand new, so they haven't been fully uh, put together and set together. This one just got delivered recently. So yeah, slightly different layout, but actually I prefer this one a little bit more because of how open this whole space feels. But if you want some privacy in the bedroom, you can do this. All right, now this is the new 2021 model. The V8, the 7.3 liter, the Godzilla, has more horsepower, 350. Brand new chassis, which means the suspension diff is different like I was telling you about the sway bars, the, the shocks, the springs. And actually, I was fortunate enough to go to a Ford Proving Grounds almost a year ago to actually test one of the first chassis. All right, guys, the engine is fired up. Of course, this is a commercial grade 7.3 liter V8. And I'm lining up up against the delivery van. Who would have thought this would be possible? All right, everybody, we're ready for our next acceleration test. Strip chassis on the right, fully box van on the left. Look at them go! <laughs> chassis is just much quicker. It's also according to Ford and Newmar and Transwest um, supposed to give you better fuel efficiency so about 1 mpg better. So if you used to get 8 you might be getting 9 uh, which is a fairly significant amount when you're talking about fuel efficiency in these big uh, big giant class A motorhomes. I know it's more expensive I know the new chassis cost more money overall with Newmar and Baystar but I, I think it's worth the money. Yep. Once again, all these windows have blinds. 
and if you look at the steering wheel now it looks like a brand new super duty the gauges are different it's really cool so you still have all your radio navigation camera stuff and this one also has side view cameras as well and also of course column shift and tow haul mode right there this newer 2021 model also has a generator but this one is in the rear the other one has it up front but still very large storage once again pass through storage here in the rear and also the same hitch also same 5,000 pound towing if you configure these two motorhomes about the same uh, the new 2021 model will be a little bit more pricey so which one would it be for me is it the older v10 or the new v8 chassis i have to go new and it's not just because of the floor plan or anything else the driving experience is a little bit better in my opinion and more fuel efficiency how can you beat that and as always go back to tfltruck.com for all the latest news views and real world motorhome reviews